and profiles of the star players. With this double-sized part one, you get the binder free and five packs of stickers to get you started. World Cup 90. I'd watch out for it if I were you. Fast forward 30 plus years and myself getting back into collecting soccer stickers and football cards, and soccer cards. And I was looking for this set. I mean, I, I don't have the full set by any means. I have like maybe, I don't know, maybe 75 cards, 75 stickers or 75 uh, uh, of the set of probably which a few hundred and doing some research and looking at eBay. I was like, okay, eBay must have the information, must have the, the actual uh, album that I can put this into. And lo and behold, I went ahead and bid on the set. And here we go. Let me just show you. It is heavy. This <laughs> is really heavy. So I won, I won the eBay auction. It was um, from England. And I'm going to open this. And sh I have no idea. Never seen this album before. All I saw were, were the, the sticker packs that were available in the stores. Um, bought them, got the stickers, put them away, and it's actually still in really good condition 30 years later. Now, this is supposed to be the completed set. Well, actually, no, I don't think it's completed. It, it's, it's the album, which came in a binder, which is completely different too. It's a binder. It looks like, a, like it's something like an encyclopedia or something, the pictures I've seen. I haven't seen it in person before. It's not the completed set, so it, it is missing some of the stickers. Hopefully some of the stickers it's missing. Hopefully I have them. Um, that would be some really good luck, but we'll see how it looks. But let's go ahead and open this up and uh, take a look at uh, Orbis 1990 World Cup edition. And um, I'm really excited. I hope you are too. So let's take a look and see what's inside. Okay, so to speed up this unboxing a little bit, I've cut the box open slightly. I haven't opened it yet, but just uh, I don't want to spend like five minutes trying to open the box here. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what we have. It's really well packaged. If anything, it's overly packaged, which I guess if it's shipping it from the UK, it doesn't hurt. So she was coming by plane and with mail being thrown around, who knows. So let's take a look and see what we have here. Let's cut this a little bit more. All right, getting closer. I'll just cut this section here and it should be okay. Be careful not to cut the actual contents. That would not be good. Okay. All right. This is definitely an unboxing. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we have in store here. There it is. Oh my gosh. This thing is so heavy. All right. Let me move this out of the way. <sighs> there you go. All right. Will Cup Orbis, the complete collection. And just to give you an idea, I mean, some beautiful imagery on the front cover here too. Diego Maradona, Ruud Hulet, Chris Hutton, uh, Guy Lineker, oh, I always forget his name, from, from Spain and Real Madrid, uh, Klinsman. Yeah, all right. Let's look at the back of this thing. That's okay, plain back. But let me just show you how thick this thing is. This thing is huge. Now, I know when I won the uh, eBay auction, they did say that um, not all the pages were intact. Some of them had come loose. So, so let's take a look and see what we can find inside, what's in store for us. And you can see already, it's a binder. It's a huge binder. And, well, I'm not gonna go through every single page, but let's take a look to give you an idea of what it looks like and give myself an idea. I've never seen this before. So six reasons why World Cup 1990 is the best collection ever. Six superb sections giving you the inside story on the greatest football show on earth. Number one is team pages with a finals fact file. 
on each of the uh, country's World Cup performance, um, records, honours and summaries for each nation. Number two, superstars, on the ball, fact files, football facts at your fingertips, profile, player profiles. And then uh, it says complete lowdowns on their clubs and careers. Great games, man of the match, who play the key roles, match facts. So this is really kind of a hardcore soccer fan's dream come true. Number four, cup countdown, two sections in one. Uh, we look at each of the 24 qualifiers and assess their chances, their profiles on the managers and great action shots of the players in each team. Number five is golden goals. And uh, this is uh, action replays of some of uh, highlights of some of the, the best goals. And then number six coming in part four is finals fever, flashback, facts and figures on the stranger side of World Cup history, the final score, the results of every single match in each competition. Wow, this is just huge. If I have, does it have pages, number of pages on this thing? It doesn't, but if I had a guess, this is probably like about 600 pages. And I'm gonna have to fix the pages to make sure they go in properly. It's got so much information. So I guess it's one of those things that um, you bought the stickers in the store and then you, I would imagine you would have had to send away to get the actual album and then probably throughout the whole tournament uh, ordering the different pages I'm not sure if that's how it works oh my god this is this is immense so we'll cut complete action we haven't even gotten to the stickers yet this is just like kind of all of the it's Brian Clough's top team challenge cutouts tokens and stick them on the entry form part four which has the players and these aren't even stickers yet we haven't even got to this the stickers section of this so let's go forward a little bit faster here just to show you again it's just this is all history background information okay so I see it so it actually has a tab for team pages so we're going to go take a look at that. West Germany. All right. Hey, finally. <laughs> we have stickers. These are the stickers that would have come with this collection. And you've got some, I mean, classic, oh, this is what a classic German team. Uh, uh, Andreas Bremer, uh, Pierre Lebowski, Rudi Voller, Jürgen Klinsmann, Olaf Thon, Luther Matthias, Jürgen Kohler. Klaus Argenthaler, Thomas Berthold, Bodo Ingler, Stefan Reuter. This is a I mean, classic team here. Argentina. This sticker alone by itself, if it wasn't stuck in this book, this would be worth a lot of money right here. Just that one sticker. Diego Maradona, Jorge Burachaga, Sergio Batista, Ruggeri, or Ruggeri. Even uh, Diego Maradona's uh, younger brother, Hugo Maradona. All right, and so far, oh, okay, here's one that's missing. Okay, so number 37. So this is uh, Giancarlo uh, Morocci. Mor 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 so let me just see, just out of curiosity, from these stickers, if I have number 37, I probably don't have that. I have 34, 35. Oh, of course not. <laughs> Murphy's Law. I don't have that sticker, so I don't have a complete set. I know that. Um, but let me just kind of briefly go through some of the rest of this here. You have the England uh, team page. So uh, showing... This is great. This is... in Whoever put this together, or Orbis, must have spent so much time and research. So you have the different World Cups. So the 1950 World Cup, they're in Pool 2. They beat Chile. 2-0, they lost 1-0 to Spain, and of course they lost 1-0 to the United States of America, probably the biggest uh, World Cup uh, shock in the history of this game. And then going through each of the different tournaments, and in 66 you can see they went all the way to, to win that one. And then uh, late 70s, they didn't make it. Uh, has when they were formed, area information about uh, the actual country, their kits, their honours, 
Olympics. This is just a treasure trove of just like a football anorak of information. Trevor Stephen, I'm missing that guy too. So now I'm gonna to have to go on the hunt to actually try to find the rest of these stickers. And um, Des Walker, Peter Shilton, Stuart Pierce, Gary Lineker, John Barnes, Peter Beardsley, so on and so forth. Yugoslavia. I could probably spend hours looking through this thing. Andy Townsend, Niall Quinn, David O'Leary, Petrescu, oof, from Romania, what a player. Georgi Haji, another superstar, really. You have Holland team, Frank Reichardt, Ronald Koeman, Erwin Koeman, his brother, Marco van Basten, Rude Hulet, Sata Uruguay, Ruben Paz, Enzo Francescoli, who uh, Zinedine Zidane is such a, a fan, just an admirer of Enzo, that uh, uh, Zidane named his son after Enzo. So his son's his name is uh, Enzo uh, Zidane, which I think he's um, on the books at Real Madrid. Scotland, Graham Sharp, United States. So it shows the kits. It would have been Adidas at the time. Let's just take a look and see what it has about the United States here. So Brian Bliss, I know I have that sticker. Tony Miola, I do not. Jimmy Banks, Mike Windishman, Steve Trichu, Desmond Armstrong, Tap Ramos, Bruce Murray, Rick, Ricky Davis, John Hawks, Eric Eichmann, David Van Paul Crumpy, John Stolemeyer. Wow, some of these players I even forgot. Um, Philip uh, Gway, Frank Klopas, Paul Caligiri, uh, Jim Gabara, Hugo Perez, Peter Veremes. This is just uh, so much history. You can see the, the classic Soviet Union kits. Let's go through a little bit faster here. Superstars, and so now we're on the superstars section. The master of controversy. He's built like a tank and scatters defenders as he bears down on goal. But the world's greatest footballer not only excites and delights, sometimes he, plus, he just plain infuriates. This is one of the most famous pictures of uh, Maradona with the uh, what the six different um, Belgian players trying to mark him. De Bomber, Gerd Müller. That's who it was on the front cover. Emilio Botrogena, who I've met. And I think I interviewed him. No, actually, I didn't interview him, but I have met him. Michel Platini. Wow, oh my God. Paolo Rossi. So yeah, as you can see, the sticker por portion of it, I'm, I'm surprised actually, the sticker portion of it is just a, just a section of it. It's, the rest of it is Eusebio, I mean, just the history of the game and of the World Cups, Hall of Fame. Look at these pictures. These are amazing. Absolutely amazing. And then going through, showing some of these other games. Oh my gosh, this is like, this is just previews of the games, the stadiums. This is incredible. What an incredible collection on this one. I have to remember how much I paid, how much I got this one for on eBay from the auction. Maybe it was like with, with shipping. And you can imagine how expensive the shipping was, just the pure size and weight of that thing. I think it was about $50, which to me is a bargain, an absolute bargain. I mean, the sticker collection side of it is, um, is not... I mean, some of those stickers are worth a lot of money. The Diego Maradona, just as one example. Um, Paolo Rossi, probably too, but um, I'm not sure of the actual value, but sentimental, huge, historic, huge value in the marketplace. Um, it's probably growing as, as these players get older, but what a collection. So Orbis, 
World Cup 1990, the complete collection. And I, just, I now have to work on completing the stickers I'm missing, but wow, this exceeded my expectations. Oh. <laughs> this is incredible. I could go back to this and use this as a research material, so I'll just read it for the pleasure. There's just so much information, even like the captions. Um, it sh shows here, like, like for example, just one example before we let you go. Um, for this photo, for this caption, it says Eusebio scores his ninth goal of the 1966 World Cup in the third place match against the Soviet Union. It earned him £1,000 as the final's top scorer. So in 1966, roughly about $1,500 at that time um, is what he got for being the top scorer in the World Cup of 1966. And Eusebio here, a picture of him training before the 1966 World Cup semi-final against England. During the game, he seemed intimidated by his marker, Nobby Styles. And then you have all of the, the actual player profile, all the information about him, as well as the story of um, Eusebio was one of eight children whose father died when he was five. Life was hard, etc. So, Wow. Anyway, uh, I will include a link in the video description for anyone who's interested in looking, getting their own. Uh, it's not available anymore, but you can get it through eBay and to, to look at those auctions if you're interested in, in getting one of this for yourself.